Hello guys, <laughs> welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to show you a facial and we will be using black strap molasses. This is the one we'd advise you to get for this facial. It's the Meridian one, the natural molasses and you can get organic or just the normal one. Um, we don't need to zoom in do we? We can do after. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can use this one um, or you can use any molasses. To be fair, this might be more expensive, but um, I guess if you, whatever you can afford and it's molasses, then use it. But if you're going to take it internally, then you do want to use a proper one, an organic molasses, just to ensure that you're getting all the minerals. So why molasses? Molasses, or should you, maybe we should let you apply it. So what, let, we'll talk about applying it and then we'll talk about why molasses. So. In here, we've got molasses, turmeric, and lemon. You can just use molasses and put it on your face if that's all you've got. Let it sit for an hour and then wash it off with just warm water and you'll come out with glowing skin. I promise you, you will. Um, but for this one, with the turmeric, that adds an extra boost because it's anti-inflammatory. So if you have acne or any kind of bumps on your face that are inflamed, you can use that to help soothe it. The turmeric will work well. The lemon as well is to tone your skin and also helps with acne scarring to kind of get rid of it so that's why we've mixed that in here but like I said you can just use molasses so um, Levita's washed her face now she's not a good model for this because as you can see her face is fine already but if you did have problems this is the best use even if you don't generally um, it's nice to use Men exactly maintenance so um, she's gonna apply it and while she applies it I'm going to explain to you Pardon? It's very warm. It's warm, sorry. It's okay, nice well, it's the sun. But uh, she's going to apply it and then I'm going to explain to you the benefits while she's applying. I can't see why. And while she's applying it, what you want to do is cover your eyebrows included. I know sometimes you don't want to cover your eyebrows, but I cover everywhere. Eyebrows, just, just not the eyes, the lips, everything. I want them all to benefit from the goodness. Um, okay, what are we doing next? Oh, no, turmeric. I have to talk about the turmeric. Turmeric stains. This is why some people prefer to just use the molasses. If you have a lighter complexion or you're of Caucasian background, you might want to use um, less turmeric. So the amounts in there are about one and a half tablespoons of molasses, half a tablespoon of lemon, squeezed lemon. So half a tablespoon of the squeezed lemon juice and half a tablespoon of turmeric. However, you might want to start off with less turmeric if you're of a lighter complexion so that, that you don't get that yellow staining. Um, I don't, that shouldn't stain. Yeah, but this might be a bit much for me though. Yes, so the leftovers, that's a good thing. Because it's got the lemon juice in it as well and molasses is highly like a sugar content so it's not gonna rot quick. Mm. But um, you can keep that in the fridge and I usually keep mine in the fridge for up to a week, even more. So you can do it two to three times a week. So that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get everywhere. I can still see patches like here. I can't it's gonna go big. <laughs> you have to get everywhere. So okay, while she's doing that, molasses. Why molasses? So molasses is high in iron. It's one of the highest in iron, um, even more than the meats, the anything else that is said to be high in iron. Uh, molasses is one of the highest, and what um, it does as well is that if you have anemia or you, you're pregnant or you're lactating where iron is very crucial, you want to take molasses internally as well as externally as a you know, kind of beauty treatment, if you will. Um, it's best taken with vitamin C. So if you do take it internally, you want to increase the absorption. So take it with vitamin C. You can have it with lemon juice, berry juice. Berries are really high in vitamin C as well. So you can have it with that. Just mix it maybe one tablespoon every day and take it internally and that should be fine. Um, anything else about molasses? I think we've covered all. Well, that's a morning tip as well about the having the molasses with the lemon because that's mm. what I have in the morning. Mm. Or one tablespoon of molasses and then lemon and yes. then have it with warm water. Yes. Good start to the day. That's what she does. <laughs> I can't say that I do okay, that. What do you do then? <laughs> I can't stand molasses. Let me just be honest. It's honestly it's best. I can't stand molasses internally. So if I take molasses, <laughs> I take a <laughs> tablespoon, <laughs> right? I take a tablespoon and I mix it with milk, like an oat milk or something to make it like some kind of shake just to get that taste away. And that really helps. I remember one time, even my brother mixed it with like milk. I don't know if he added 
like a flaxseed or something to it, but it tasted like some nice milkshake. And I thought, mmm, and carob. You can mix it with carob as well. Oh, oh, that will just be a mineral high. <laughs> I'm telling you. So yeah, definitely do that. If you can't stand the taste, mix it with milk. I'm sorry, it has to go down some way. So there's two two ways to get, for it to go down. So why is this better than any other like commercial type business that's out there? Because of the chemicals, you, we just don't know what's in it. And at the same time, if you if it you usually find that when you use in stuff like this, any kind of products that we buy in the stores, they always say if it goes in your eyes or your mouth, wash immediately, thoroughly. If if symptoms persist, see the doctor. Mm. This is not one of those disclaimers. Yeah. Praise God, if it goes in your eye or anything, you're not. It's not a deadly thing. You don't need to run to the doctor or seek medical attention. Mm. You'll be absolutely fine knowing that it's natural. So mm. that's one of my main reasons. And you can use it for children, anything, because it's not too harsh on the skin. So now when you wash it off, the molasses, you want to wash it off with just warm water, no soap. Even if it's a natural soap, you don't want to use it, just no soap. Warm water and enjoy your glowing skin. So we're going to do that and then we're going to come back. So, bye. Au revoir. <laughs> okay, hello, we are back and Levita has washed her face, as you can see. Feeling smooth, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's. Okay, so now we are going to apply some shea butter. And we have a scripture verse to share with you regarding this butter on the face. So it's taken from Psalms 104, verse 14 and 15. And it reads, He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengthens man's heart. So we just want to highlight here that God provides the oil to make our face to shine. So that's why we're using oil on the skin. That's all you need. Um, coconut oil, shea butter, any oil that you can get your hands on. And if you find it too thick, just leave, when you come out of the shower, um, leave your face a bit wet and apply the oil. And that should be enough as a moisturizer. So how does it feel? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Do you want to let them see your face? Or a close <laughs> up? see my face. No, you've got to go close. How close Look, you? all the way, zoom in. <laughs> let them see them oil. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <That was good. laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>